What's up, man? 25 Gamers. In today's episode of Defensive Skewing Week, we're going to take a look at our base man coverage, something we like to call in second down situations, just to kind of figure out what our opponent's about. Now, this defense is different than any other defense you've probably seen me do, um, and that's because of this right of today's video, the base man coverage. Uh, what we like to do with our base man coverage is we're going to use the cover one spy, uh, my opinion, really effective for this formation. And because of the reason we're doing that is because we baseline and press every single play out of this package. So that is going to force us, we're, we're not going to get that nice two men under press that we always get. So now we're just going to use the initial bump and run and, and try to use it to our advantage. So we could use disguise cushion if we want. If we're getting burned over the top, we're going to be using disguise cushion a lot. If we're not getting burned over the top, we're going to leave the press alignment. And what I like to do with this is I'll base the line, I'll press. I will blitz all my linebackers, or excuse me, um, let me let me reset that. Apologize for this. Yeah, you need to blitz all your linebackers, then globally zone them, and then you're going to man align baseline press. So let me just reset all this, show you how I want it done. So this is the order you should do this in. You should come out, globally bitch your linebackers, and then globally zone them. Then you main align, and then you baseline press, spread your line, crash out, do all that adjustments. You're going to spy one guy. Um, actually, you're not going to spy one guy. You're going to man one guy up on the running back. So in this situation, we'll man up Brian on him because the running back's on the left. If the running back was on the right, we would man up Ruben on him. But since he's not, we'll leave Ruben blitzing. So real quick, set the play up. This is what it should look like. And this is going to give you phenomenal coverage. Um... In terms of just straight on man and and lock up, you know, it, it's one of these coverages that, you know, it's not gonna, you know, you have the potential uh, to get beat if they call the right play at the right time. But the beauty of this is if you were to do it out of two man under, I mean, you could do it out of two man under. There's no problem with that. Um, the only thing I would suggest if you do it out of two man under, what you lose is you lose that guy manned up on the running back. Whereas cover one, you have. A guy manned up, so it, just, it, it it comes down to what you want. You could do the same thing, at the same concepts that a man under it all applies here. But if you don't want to do that, if you want to leave that guy manned up, then you want to do it like this. Now, one other thing that you might try, I mean, you could do it. Obviously, you could adjust your zones. I really, uh, a lot of times, I will be calling the disguise cushion because I cannot stand calling a coverage defense and getting creamed over the top. So I'll just call it a disguise cushion. So, thanks guys for checking out the base man. It's a different base man than we always ever use. Um, and so, be sure to come back for the base zone. I think you're really going to like this zone coverage. See you guys.